Hello and welcome back to Plans by Kim. If you are new here, welcome and thanks for stopping by. So today we're going to be planning in my dashboard planner the week of September the 5th through the 11th. And today we're going to be bringing in some scrapbook paper. So pick this up from Hobby Lobby yesterday, which was Saturday, and this was half off. I'm also going to try to bring in some of these um, sunflower stickers along with Mojo Jojo Plans orange boxes and more and jewel tone boxes and the Whimsy Luxe sticker book, A Year of Planning. Now, I will apologize in advance because my allergies have kicked in. Fall has already started here in Kansas. It's very early. Usually I don't get like this until the end of September or into October, but here it is. So, we're just gonna get started. Now, um, I am gonna speed up a little bit of this process, but I wanted to explain to you, if you're new to ripping paper or you're not comfortable because you don't quite have the technique down, just get in there and get your hands on some paper and just rip it. Go find a cheap pad of paper and just start learning how to rip because it when it is intimidating in the beginning and there's a certain way to rip paper if you rip it this way, you're gonna get kind of a white edge, but if you rip it this way, it's gonna be clean. Um, if you can tell, my allergies kicked in yesterday, about halfway during the day, um, I started getting a sore throat. So um, I apologize in advance for any sniffling, sneezing, coughing, whatever. And if I can't edit it out, I, I will try to edit it out, but if I can't, just, I'm sorry. So, I'm going to speed the process up of tearing this paper, and then we will come back and get started. Okay, so I did do a second one. Um, I was going to put it down here and then realized I had used the wrong corner. So I might come up here and use it on this corner or I could always bring it down here and use it down here. If I so choose, I still don't know yet. I have an idea of what I want to do. I'm not quite sure how I want to execute it. Um, I do also want to come in here and cut some of these out and I'm going to also um, fast forward the video up for that because this is going to be time consuming, but I do want to cut out a couple trucks um, to put on the other side of my page and just see how that would look along with some of these flower boxes and then some of these um, pumpkin arrangements because I'm going to use those as some of my stickers as well. how long that took. I'm not going to use all of them, I don't think, but you never know. I might. I kind of almost want to, um, I don't know. On this one, I kind of just want to rough it around just a little bit more. Let's see what that looks like, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. I'm not gonna worry about hiding that. Oops, not the glue pen. I want, or I had the white out is what I tried grabbing. All right, let's just try to put some of this down.
as you can see, 59 cents full price, and I got it half off. So that plaid paper cost me, what, 29 cents plus tax. Not bad. This is repositional. Um, so Tombow has out two different types of um, glue tape, or I should say glue runner, and um, this is the repositional. There is a, once it's still in the paper, it's not coming up type. Okay. I'm going to glue this down and then I need to go take care of my mom because she just woke up. Okay, so we're back. Got everyone taken care of, got their medicines, got their breakfast. I think we're good to go for a little while. So what I'm wanting to do, I've decided, is um, instead of bringing in the washi tape that I got that I wasn't that happy about, I'm gonna make some boxes out of this with my Happy Planner box cutter. Is that in the last time? Okay, so let's just get to cut in here. I should say punch in. I probably don't want two, but I'm gonna do a third one. Just to have because I want to do another one. And I know I said that I may come up here with this paper. I don't know if I want to do that or not, if I'm bringing in these boxes. So let me think about this. But what I thought about doing is taking this guy up here. I want to bring him off the page a little bit. See, we could do this and then take that down a little bit or bring it up like that. Yeah, I like that. And then move this over a bit. We'll just cut this. Actually, I need a little bit more fair at the top to see it. I think we'll do that. So that right here. So I do believe the um, farmer's almanac. Now what I'm gonna do is I might tear these pages so that these aren't as clean. Like they don't have to be like the exact same size of the box. Just kind of give these a Torn look. Now, do I want to do that all the way around or do I just want to do the tops and bottoms? Oops.
So I love um, Selling Sunset. I love watching Selling Sunset. It is one of my favorite shows to watch. I don't have any drama in my life. I don't want any drama in my life, but it's fun to watch it. <laughs> So, uh, if you watch Selling Sunset, then you'll know that Jason decided to go down to Orange County um, over in the Newport area and try to sell some real estate down there and get into the market down there. It's a smaller area than where they were in LA, but um, I, think, I think it's doing well for him. So... I mean, I say I think it's doing well for them because they sold, so far in this season, they sold $120 million worth of property. So to me, that's successful, right? To them, probably not so much because they do better up in the hills and that kind of thing in LA. So any color. Um, let me think where I want this to go. I got one there, so I might bring one down here. And then I might just bring one over here somewhere. Do away with that one. Let's just bring in some boxes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up these pages. I'm going to use this orange here. And guys, I apologize. I know I already apologized once for the sniffling and stuff, but I am so sorry. My ear is starting to um, hurt because the fluid buildup in it, whenever I talk, it's starting to um, vibrate and that causes pain. So <laughs> if I suddenly stop talking a minute, that'll be because of that reason. Now, oh dear, this one came off. I don't want that to happen. All right, so in this book, we're using the gold yellow. And in this book, I'm gonna bring in this pretty blue. This was the closest color I had to the truck. I'm just glad I found a color that went. I mean, I have another one, but it's a little bit darker. And so I felt like it didn't match as nicely, but it is what it is. So I think I'm gonna start with the right side of my page this go around. And you know, the thing is, is that I don't think I have any bullet points in here. Let me see. No, this one's just boxes. I think this is the boxes and more. Yeah, this is boxes and more. So I do have some, well, where are they at? There they are. So I could put some of these orange ones down. That would look nice. And I might be able to use some black bullet points too. I would just kind of want to maybe bring in some yellow, but my yellow that I have is not this nice golden color. It is um, a little bit brighter, more primary yellow. So, okay, at least we know where we're going with that. Say, Kim, quit do tick, 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 and just get to get to business, girl. Okay, so Monday, let's put some boxes down on Monday. Let's see. Uh, I'm thinking about box placement. So I could put a nice box here and then a smaller box. And then to put a box here, bullet, bullet. Box, box, bullet, bullet. So two bullet points. I can also do box, box, bullets, bullets, bullets. I might do that instead. Okay, so let me put my bullet points down since I've got that figured out. Bullet, bullet. 
Yeah, bullets. Okay. On Sundays, I tend to like to just kind of figure out where I'm going the rest of the week. Um, however, this week, um, I really didn't want to work today, but it's just the way things turned out. I ended up going shopping yesterday. So, I'm here today. Looking for my black bullet points. I'm just going to use um, the ones that I got from Amber Plans Our Day. Here they are. I got this from shopwithally.com. And I do believe those are still available on her site. Um, I haven't looked for a while. I, at, well, the last time I looked, they were still available and, so, and she had a different pattern as well. I'm changing this up a little bit. It's fun to change things up, get out of the rut. These are sometimes hard to get off. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it was the way that it was cut or what, but boy, those are sometimes really difficult to get off. Okay, I'm just gonna put two down here on Thursday. All right, so we've got our bullet points that we're gonna use in this spread. I'm gonna shut my door. I don't know if you guys can hear my mom singing, but I just want some quiet, guys. Let's come up here with a yellow box. Just gotta find the size that I'm wanting. Oh my gosh. I only got one box that I love. So I'm gonna go to this one. And I'm just gonna put this one here. And I think I might put, I don't know how this orange one would look. Just do that. Okay. I need a box on Tuesday and Friday. So let's come in with a turquoise box. Okay, now I think I want to put this box here. Not sure if I want to lay that side all the way down now. And then how about we come in with this here. That'll bring some of that buffalo plaid in. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, guys, if these, if these boxes are crooked, I'm not worrying about it because, I'm sorry, I'm just not in the mood to deal with crooked boxes and fixing them today. Maybe bring some inspiration to the table, show you what's out there. Oh, Kimberly, gosh. Darn it. You guys, I am so not with it today. I was in the other room trying to make breakfast, and I told my daughter, I said, oh, I said, um, I'm getting ready to start cleaning. She goes like, you mean cooking? And I was like, oh, yes, getting ready to start cooking. I said, my brain is just, it's, out for lunch, I think. Okay. Um, since I've got two oranges here, I wanna bring a yellow box in over here. 
Let's see here. How about we bring this big one in? I'm gonna put this one in on Friday. Friday the 9th, and let's see. I like this one, this is pretty. How about we put that one down? I'm using my wax paper so that I don't get um, tape on my spread paper. Sometimes this tape doesn't want to come off very good and then it causes it to look dirty. So this is a, a good idea. Um, I, di I didn't have any stickers, you guys. I mean, I had to go out and buy my stickers for sunflowers. I don't have any sunflower washi. I didn't like what Hobby Lobby had. Um, and I like this in this little corner here. It's just a little bit of this box, like right here. I wonder if I should just bring in this bigger box and take up more of that page, but yet cut some of it off. I kind of like that better. I really don't want the whole thing, I don't think. It's gonna take into some of my writing space, so. I do like that, so let's just do that. But yeah, if you don't have, first of all, if you want to plan, but you just don't have a lot of extra cash, and trust me, right now with inflation the way that it is, like I said, my what my Buffalo paper was only 59 cents full price, so I paid 28 cents for it. No, I didn't. Um, yeah, 59 cents, so just say 60, so half a 60 is 30. So yeah, I paid 29 cents for it. And then um, my other paper, shoot, I cut that sucker up, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know. I think that one was a, a dollar something. It, oh no, it was 69 cents too, you guys. <gasps> that was half off of 69 cents. There you go. So I spent a whopping 60 cents on paper yesterday. And look at all the little stickers that I'm getting out of it. So yeah, go to Hobby Lobby and look and see what your options could be. They did have some other um, papers there as well that I thought was really cute, but I didn't want to go too crazy. So this is what I brought home. Now this one here, I need to go under because I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's kind of lifted right there. And so I'm just going to go ahead and try to glue that down just a little bit there. Okay, now on Saturday, I need a box. And let's see. What color box? Orange, let's bring in an orange. I know there's orange right there, but I feel like I need some orange since that's the only one I have up there. So let's just bring in an orange box. But yeah, so you don't have to have a lot of money to put a cute spread together. And this is just proof. Um, I did have the, the sticker boxes, but you can go on to Canva and make your own boxes, you guys. And seriously, I have thought about doing that when um, 
I can't find the right color. I thought about going on there and going, you know what, let's just make our own box. This is just crazy. Now, let me see here. What if I brought this one in and put it just right there? I don't know. That one just looks a little unfinished, but I really, here, let me cut this one. This one's kind of throwing me. I need to see what this looks like completely cut. Okay, let's see what else do we have. I want to leave some of these for this side of the page as well. There is this. So I think what I'll do is just maybe come over here and uh, cut this out a little bit more. How about we do that? Take that sharp edge off and then I'll just put that down. And actually, I'm gonna come up here and cut the box out. And that's another thing, you guys. You are the designer. You can say, you know, what you wanna keep, what you wanna get rid of, and you can make it a one-of-a-kind spread. I love, I love making my own spreads, you guys. Okay, I'm just going to come down there. So we brought in that buffalo check just a little bit because I felt like we needed just a little bit more on this page. This is kind of coming up here, so I want to get this glue pen and get that done. And then just right here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so boxes on this side. Let's see here. But you guys, I also thought about bringing in some of my um, Girl Boss Anna. I got some of these, and look how perfectly that matched. I was just going to kind of put this over the the dates and the weeks just to bring in a little bit more of that color. And now I don't know if I should do that. I just don't want to like go overkill, you know? Let's just see what this would be like if I did that. Well, it is cute. So I think I will bring it in. Now this is kind of, I feel like, where I would need a skinnier one, but all I got is this, uh, the fat ones right for now. You guys, I want like almost every color of these. And that's a lot of investment, you know? So I'm not sure. I kind of have to just go, okay, this, this season is, you know, yada, yada, yada color. But then I also um, want to get some of the other colors, especially with Christmas coming up. I want to get some of those reds. So um, I will be planning for Christmas here soon just so that I have everything because um, it doesn't take long to get this. In, in the mail, but it doesn't take, you know, two days either. And then I'm gonna use the green tape that comes with it just to kind of put over that again so I don't have to keep fishing that around. Okay, I'm gonna put that on there. We'll see how that, how that grows on me. I'm gonna bring this green in on this side of the page because there is so much green since I laid these down now that I wanna bring some green in over here to balance that out. And I don't even know if I'm 
filling up to just covering those. <laughs> Guys, I'm just, I'm so over being the perfectionist on this spread just because I don't feel good. But I will because it'll bother me if I don't. And I'm just going to use my Secura Jelly Roll number 10 pen. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. If I had to choose, I mean, don't get me wrong, my husband and I, we love going to Florida. We love going to the beach. Probably because we don't have one. But we love going and spending time in the ocean and stuff. But I will tell you, I love the fall. And I don't know if it's because my birthday's in the fall. And so we've always just celebrated big in the fall. But I love the cooler weather. I am not... I always said the perfect place to go to live would be someplace that would be like 75 degree weather. But I don't know. I honestly don't know about that. Um, that's how I felt when I was younger. But now that I'm getting older, I love the seasons. I love the seasonal changes. I'm gonna bring that over here. So the fall time I love it because the, the days are nice and warm. And when I say warm, I mean like 70s. And they'll start getting, you know, maybe 68, 65, you know, somewhere around there. Once October hits, the evenings are going to get down into the 50s and the 40s. But that's what a typical fall, our fall weather is here. And it's nice because we can go outside and we can put the music on and the twinkle lights and we can sit by the fire and make s'mores and listen to music and just talk and look at the stars. I love to just look, lay back and look at the stars too. They're so pretty. And it's nice to go out and enjoy a movie, you know, outside when it's not so hot as well so we will have a movie night before it gets too stinking cold to enjoy going out in the evening otherwise you know you're out there with the covers and but it's just cuddle weather i love cuddle weather but that's my favorite and then i just love everything that comes with it i love you know taking the grandkids trick-or-treating let's see what other color do we need Honestly, um, I want to do all three colors, but I'm going to bring a yellow. I mean, I'm going to bring an orange over here. So I need to go find my larger orange here. I don't think I'm going to do any lines in this one. No. So I want to bring it like this. Actually, yeah, I'm going to bring... Well, maybe I should do the orange here because it's closest to the yellow and bring yellow over here. Okay. Got to talk it out. All right, we'll do that one there. And then I'm going to bring this um, golden yellow back in. Now, I used my big one over here. That's the only big one that I get. The big square. So, I'm going to have to bring this one in. I'm just going to stick this one here. Oh, why did I do that for? That's all right. That's all right. Actually, I'm going to put some bullet points in up here. I've done. I think I will. So, let's see here. I mean, I say I'm going to call it done, but I am going to bring in. I'm going to bring in these over here. That's pretty. So let's bring out the, the red glue runner. And we'll put this up here. It brings a little bit of that 
um, buffalo plaid in as well. So a touch of that black over here to tie in with that as well. And then I'm just gonna place this one on top instead of going underneath. And this is such a dark orange, it almost looks red, doesn't it? But it's not, it is orange. Make sure I'm not off the page because I cannot see what's going on up there. I have to stand up and look. Okay, I'm glad I moved that down. Okay, so I don't know why this stupid thing is still on my finger. I am not gonna use it. I think I'm done with my boxes. And I know I said I may bring in the other books, but I'm not because I brought in these over here. But I do want to bring in maybe um, one up here and one up here. And then, yeah, let's see why I put those away, didn't I? just to tie in what's going on on the other page. So there's that one. And I'm gonna turn this one the other way. I thought about putting this one up a little higher and then doing bullet point, bullet point, bullet point. And then I'm just gonna do one here. I'm not gonna put them on every single one. I don't think I'm gonna just Maybe do it right there, so I have room to write. Okay. And then, I'm gonna find a quote to put here. I feel like I should bring another bullet point, maybe two bullet points over here, just to even that out a little bit. So I will get those back out as well. do that and then let me find a quote I'm gonna go into black quotes first because I think there is some fall in here I'm gonna do this autumn please and pumpkins please I get two of those and then I'm gonna take my secure jelly roll and just kind of um, hide this gray line here could use the fall vibes as well. I'm just now seeing that little fall vibes one. Okay, so we've got this one right here. Autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Okay. Um, headers. I want to use some headers. So let me get those real quick. Okay. 
So this is the happy mess that my paper turned into, guys. I need to take the time just to go through here and take them all off and put them on one of these pages here. That's what I need to do so that I've got things a little bit more organized. But I'm gonna bring my YouTube videos over here. But I'm debating if I wanna put two over there to put that on top of and cover that gray. I don't know. I kinda wish I had a different color to add in. Just see. Oh, I want the fat side over here to kind of cover that up. And I'll do the same thing over here. And maybe we'll just put that on top of that. That works. Okay. Now, I need to bring my film in. So, I think what I'm going to do, where's my tweezers? We're going to film over here. Two films. Well, since those came off, I'm just going to put them on the paper that I was talking about. Guys, this is my first time trying to um, kiss cut. And um, as you can tell, I failed miserably. But next time, I'm going to use my slice knife because it only comes out that far and so it's a sharp blade because it's ceramic but it's not going to go through the entire paper and that's what kiss cutting is it's just not going through your entire paper and then I'm going to do um, my insta Okay, I think we'll leave it at that. Hope you guys can see the days through there. I can. It's not like as dark as the other ones are, but I think, I think it'll do. Well guys, that is going to pretty much do it for this spread. I certainly enjoyed hanging out with you today and I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me as well. Let me know in the comments what your favorite season is and if you love fall or if it doesn't really um, do a whole lot for you depending on where you live or if you guys just don't get as excited about it as we do um, here in the Midwest um, but yeah thanks for hanging out I really appreciate your time if you like this video hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos consider subscribing share this with a friend and I will see you in the next one bye